shit. So how you how you feel about like artists just getting big out here just just standing age like without moving out? But see, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest about that. Like it's 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 boo, like you know what I'm saying, like artists being out here, like staying out here, it but it, it depends where you wanna go as an artist. Like a lot of people cool with just uh Houston or Texas fan base, which ain't nothing wrong with it. That's what you want. That's you know what I'm saying? Like whatever, each his own, but if you wanna grow and get on a bigger platform and, and build better and more opportunities, okay. it'd be good to get around. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got remember you got you got supporters in Atlanta, uh Cali, Miami, Florida, Ohio, Honolulu, wherever. You got you got fans everywhere. So man, if you want you wanna have a bigger brand, ain't nothing wrong with getting out. Like you said, boys with Paris. Yeah, that's it, man. Thanks, thanks. So, um, what artists from the city do you want to collab with that you haven't? Um, from the city? Mm. You know, it's a lot of upcoming talent. It's a lot of talent out here in general. And he's that like, I want to? Um, yeah. That you'd like to collab with? Oh, probably, uh, maybe. I like, uh... Who I like, I just ain't just. I like D Flowers. I yeah, like D Flowers. Flowers, yeah, flowers yeah. nice. D Flowers and um, um, Lil Jeremy. I like Lil Jeremy too. Yeah, Lil Jeremy taking off. He yeah, I like Lil, Lil, Lil Jeremy too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You got Chuck the Baby now? Yeah, he got a bunch of songs with Baby. Yeah, yeah. that thing, that thing ain't like cool. Yeah, yeah. Baby locked in for a little minute. Though. Yeah, he cool. I look, look at the relationship. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So, um, who was your favorite person to collab with so far? Um, favorite, my favorite person? Yeah, the favorite artist. Or like, who was your most favorite collab that you, um, that you did? Um, I think I, maybe the, the, the artist I did a song with, and like I told you about the they management, yeah. I, probably them. Yeah, we we had we had a, 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 a good record, so you know how the so politics the, the go. The song just never dropped, right? Yeah, you know how the politics go, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I I can't be mad at that, but I think that was a I like that the vibe that was there, but Not really. uh, yeah, probably that one. Got you, got you. Gotcha. And since we was on the topic of Houston and just the uh, the support system, yeah, I want to pick up on just your support system. And do you feel like you get a lot of support from the city? Um, yes and no. I, I got my I got my uh, supporters. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got my supporters, and but I deem I should have. More, but I don't worry about that because I got supporters in different states. And yeah, you got people supporting. But you know how I go though, man. Where you from? Be honest, man. Where you from? They don't support you until you make it. Yeah. Then they want to kind of act like they've been behind you, but you know how they go. But yeah, right. I got a lot of supporters, so I, I can't complain. Cause in this music, man, it's hard being a, when you first coming as an artist, especially now, cause it's a million artists trying to rap. I mean, you call them artists, million. People trying to rap and, and they oversaturated, and messing up the game. So, for me to uh, got in here and build my name up on my own is a blessing to me because that's the hardest part when you're getting in the game, building your name up and trying to get people to respect you as a real artist and take you serious. A lot of them, oh, he just another dude trying to rap. Exactly. So somebody be like, okay, boom, right. that's a blessing. That's the that's the hardest part to me in this game is trying to get your name respected. And and people really take you serious, so I think that was the biggest compliment for me. Right for for now, for sure, for sure. Yeah, and honestly, I feel like people actually do start to take you serious once they see that you're taking it serious. Facts. And you know, yeah, what you gonna say? That facts. That facts. I, I try to tell a lot of artists too, man. Uh, you know, I know they budget or they money don't be right, but man, people attention. Uh, span is is very short these days, and if you put out a trash video, 
That's pretty much it for you. Yeah, exactly. Cause that's all they gonna know you for. You know what I mean, first impression too. First yeah. impression, they attention. You know what I'm saying? So I, I encourage all artists, man, make sure when you when you spend money on these videos, uh, your your image, make sure that you take your time and spend your money right. Uh, spend really? it right. So when it comes to jewelry, are you big on a rapper image? Meaning, do you feel like you need the big chains of jewelry to stand out? Um, no. Nah. Cause I, I got jewelry, I don't even wear like that. I, 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 to be honest, I think when you know, you know, artists, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? They want to wear jewelry and all that. That's cool. I ain't, I ain't got nothing wrong with it. But you know what I'm saying? I feel like if you got an image of your own, it's a marketable image. You can sell. Cause I know there's a lot of artists out there who selling don't even have none of that. Yeah. Don't have none of that. You know what I'm saying? It just, you know, it just, it, that's what all this want to do. That's what he want to do. I ain't. With that, you know, social media be part of the game now. We see you got like 18K followers. Oh, yeah. Do you, uh, do you feel like that's like the big reason why you blew up? That, I ain't gonna lie. Your, your followers, too. And that, that's a good topic. Uh, your followers, that, that, that helps, too, uh, with your brand. You like, cause, yeah. cause they looking like, okay, he's, uh, he or she out here building, building their brand up. They got their followers up. They got their numbers up. Now, you got to watch out some of these artists, though. Make sure you see these artists with all these followers. Y'all got to make sure y'all go look at them followers and you look at them likes because they be having on uh, Buck Simpson and uh, <laughs> them fake followers. So y'all got to pay attention to all that, man, because a lot of these foo-foo rappers in the city be having these fake followers. They right. go from... Five thousand followers to two hundred followers in a month, impossible. Two hundred K in, in a month, impossible. So just pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's it's possible to build, man. It took me a while to get eighteen K, but I build that up authentic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hand in hand with people, right. people loving my music. Just I built that up. Like you know what I'm saying? It's it's hard, but it's easy. You just got to get out there and work and build it up. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, so with the pandemic, do you feel like the pandemic actually helped your career or kind of hurt it? No, nah, I think the pandemic for uh for all the independent artists, it was a uh, uh for any anybody. Uh, I think it was good. You know what I'm saying? Cause it gave you time to think, uh, work on your plans better, get your money right. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Cause you need money in this game. You gotta spend money, to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like they help you get your mind right. I think it kind of helped, you know what I'm saying? So when you, when we break out of it like we did, you can come like a train with no brakes, hard, cause you um, got everything together while you were sitting down, you feel me? So yeah. I think it helped. Houston back open, the city back open, it's, uh, clubs it's, calling, like you need any book for deals? Huh? You can book, you can book for clubs, anything like that? Oh yeah, uh, I, I just uh, got booked for, I got something to do in New Orleans. Yeah, I get I get booked a lot out of town. That's what's up. Like out of town, inside the city. Not that often. Not that often. You know, they yeah. they rather they rather pay uh 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 Michael J. Fox from Ohio fifty thousand to pay their own artists. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. But man. you know how it go. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, other other like Atlanta, man. They show me love, man. So man, I ain't doing no tripping, man. And, all right, yeah. All right. So, would you consider yourself more so a spender or a saver when it comes to having money? I do both. Yeah. I like to spend, but I also, you know, I put up. You know what I'm saying? I learned that because I done been broke before on my on my on my ass, so I know how to feel how I feel. Yeah. So I'm 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 a spender and I'm a saver, but I, I save more than I be spending. I got you, got you. So, do you invest? I, I got some things I, I invest my money in. You got some investments out there? Yeah. You want to talk about some of them? You know, it's cool. <laughs> I got some, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all good. For yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, what's next for you? What can we be expecting from B Bank? What's next for me? Goddamn, uh, I got uh, I got a video I just shot. Uh, this record called Fake Love. Yeah. Uh, be on the lookout for that. Um, I got a tape. Uh, I'm getting ready to drop. 
Man, I just, I'm just working, man. I'm just out here building my brand right now. Yes, more, yes, uh, get my name out here in the streets more, get more money, trying to open up more doors for my people. Uh, uh, I'm working on a movie, uh, all type of stuff, man. I'm just working. Yeah, so you got a movie coming out as well. Yeah, I got a movie that I wrote. Okay, so what's the title of it? Uh, the, the title of it is uh, Two Brothers. It's called Family Ties, Two Brothers. Okay, okay. And um, basically, it's, it's, the story is about just two brothers was in the streets. And um, one day, one, just one went to jail, decided to, you know, uh, give it up the street and go straight. And the other one, like, nah, we out here, we made too much money together. And they end up bumping heads, and it end up being some some stuff going on between two brothers. And, yeah. Yeah. The movie sound interesting. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. what platforms will it be streaming on? Uh, you know, after we done with it, we you know we are gonna try to uh, uh, shoot it. You know, shoot it to the big apps, uh, Hulu, Netflix. We are gonna try to shoot it and get it around. So, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. So it'll be on the platform where everybody can see. So can you tell all your supporters and you know other artists that's watching where and how they can contact you? If they're looking for features, you know, just want to reach out. Oh, they're looking for uh, features. Uh, you can hit me up, uh, my DM uh, on Instagram at the real B Banks with a Z. Um, also, you you can get some number two. You can call. Um, also, I'm doing a uh, right now working on some with a uh, next level management. Okay. okay. Um, shout out to next level management. Uh, you know, we working on something right now, so. It's good. They want to contact me. Contact me on Instagram. Gotcha. So, um, speaking about next level manager. Yeah. Um, how did that actually come about? Man, uh, shout out uh, Mike. His name is Mike. Uh, he's from New Orleans, man. He's doing his thing. Uh, he hit me up, man. He hit me up one day. He was like, uh, I've been I, I've been watching you for for a couple of years now, bro. And man, you. Man, he like, man, you, 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 you next, and you know, yada yada. Like, man, I'm serious, man. I, and he was like, man, I wanna, I wanna work with you, I wanna build, I wanna, you know, take yeah. it to the next level with you. So that's how that came. He hit me up, and uh, and a lot of people hit me up too, cause I had a couple of people, you know, they be cap, but I'm just talking. Yeah, just talking. But I actually got to meet this guy. And, he about what he talking about. So. so how long have you been um, with Next Level Manager? Um, well, I'm officially not signed to him, but we work with some. It's in the works. Yeah, we got some big we working on right gotcha, now. Gotcha. But I've been on um, maybe for like five months now, six months now, something okay. like that. We just been like this. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, well, we definitely appreciate you for coming out and joining the show, man. We're going to definitely tap back in with another interview. For sure.